Hey guys, so it is the end of September, so it is time to let you know what products I have been loving for the month of September. So if you're interested in finding out what my September favorites are, then just keep watching. All right, let's start off with a face product that I have been loving for the month of September, and it is the Amore Pacific Age Correcting Foundation Cushion Broad Spectrum SPF 25 in the shade Light Slash Medium Pink number 104. It is a cushion compact, and what I do like about this is it has the SPF. It has really good coverage for a cushion foundation, and also inside the box you get the compact, the cushion, and also a refill. So you get a lot of product in here when you just purchase the foundation, which I think is great because so many cushion foundations either dry out quickly or they get used up so quickly that you have to keep spending money to get more. This one comes with a refill, which I really like, and the color is also really nice especially when I have a little bit of a tan. It almost matches me perfectly right now, so I've been loving this. That's the first product. Next, another product to give me kind of my summer color is the Sonia Kashuk um, Undetectable Cream Bronzer, and this is in Rich Bronze, number 42. I think I've spoken about this before. I must have. I mean, you can see I've clearly hit pan. I love using this with a dampened like beauty blender and then I bounce it all around the perimeter of my face and on my cheekbones before I powder to give me that kind of like glow from underneath. I really, really love this. It's very good if you enjoy an easy, quick cream bronzer. Next is kind of like, kind of like a duo that I've been loving. The blush that I've been really enjoying is by Studio Makeup, which I had never really heard of. And this is their Luminous Loose Blush. And I don't believe it has a shade. It's just, it's just their blush. I got this in... I want to say a boxy charm, an ipsy, something like that. And it is a loose blush, which I've never used. And you can see it kind of has this little divide, this little turn thing where you have the little sifter down here, and then you can close it when you're done. The blush is a really nice, like peachy rose color right here, if you can see it. I'm wearing it today, and I've been loving applying it with my Smashbox angled powder brush. It just like fits perfectly along my cheekbones, it kind of pats the color in exactly where I want it, and I love this combination. I didn't think I would like a loose powder blush, but the color of this one is just so pretty and flattering that I don't mind that it's a powder. Next, some more kind of glowy products. This is the Pixi and Miriam Maculage. I'm not sure how you say it. This is the Glow and Bronze Palette, the Strobe and Bronze Palette. Looks like this. And I did talk about this in my Pixie Worth It or Not video, so definitely check that out. You get kind of a bronzer, a contour, or a deeper bronzer shade, then like a shimmery bronzer and three highlights, and I can wear everything in this palette, which I love. Nothing's too dark, nothing's too gray, nothing's too warm. It's just a really, really nice combination. I mean, here are the two bronzer colors. They're nice, right? They're not crazy. And then the bronzer, or the highlights, one, two, three. They're really, really nice. So I think this is a really good palette. I've been using this a ton. The bronzer is a little bit more yellow tone, which you rarely find, which I really like. So great job, Pixie. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Moving on to a fragrance I've been obsessed with probably for the last couple months. This is the YSL Black Opium. I only have a little travel size, but I have been loving this. It's got this it's like a sweet slash floral slash fresh scent. I can't even put my finger on it. I'm sure if I read the description online, it would tell you exactly what it is, but I really like this. It just smells so nice. It lasts on me for a decent amount of time, which most perfumes do not. So big fan. A brow product I've been using a lot this month because my Stroke of Beauty brow pencil ran out last month has been the Elme brow pencil in the shade Dark Blonde. And it has kind of like that teardrop pencil on the top and then the spoolie on the bottom. I don't generally do like hair strokes. I just kind of want to fill in the borders of my eyebrows. You can kind of tell I don't do like the light feathery look. So I really like this. It's very easy. It's fast. That's what I look for in a brow pencil. So awesome. Mascara. I just tried this mascara last month and I am obsessed. The L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. I know. Everyone already knew about this mascara, except for me. This 
is amazing. I am wearing it today along with the Estee Edit, I think it's called the Up and Out Mascara. It's on clearance at Sephora right now, so get it if you're interested. Um, and I think that it makes my lashes look amazing. The Estee Edit one has like that blue-black color, which I really love, and this one fans them out perfectly to make your eyes look wide open and your lashes look full. So awesome drugstore mascara, I'm really impressed. And then finally, we have some lip products that I have been obsessing over. If you guys follow me on Snapchat or Instagram story, you already know what this one is. Any guesses? It's by Estee Lauder. It is the Pure Color Envy Lipstick in Persuasive. And I did a lip swatch video of all of the Pure Color Envy lipsticks that I own by Estee Edit. So go ahead and check that out if you haven't already. But this one in Persuasive is the perfect fall color. It's like a rusty red, you know, like a red with like a hint of brown, just like that perfect autumn color. I love it. I have been wearing it so much. The weather here doesn't quite feel like fall yet. It's still in the 80s, which is hot for the end of September, um, but this is beautiful and I know I will be wearing it a ton in the fall. Another one along a similar line is the MAC Satin Lipstick, the Gabriel Zamora collab lipstick, the one that he created. So what I'm wearing today, it is, I would say like a less intense, it's not quite like a rusty color, it's more like a rosy brown with like just a hint of warmth. It's not super cool, it's not super pink. It's more like a muddy rose, so to speak, but it sounds disgusting when I'm saying it, but it is beautiful. So I have been wearing this one a lot. Haven't worn it down yet, but I know it's limited edition, so I, <laughs> I hope I don't run out. And finally is a product that surprised me, and it is the MAC Dazzle Glass. I do not like sticky lips. I do not like slimy lips. So I didn't think that I would like this. When I first applied this product, it's very sticky. It's hard to move your lips around, but I would say after an hour, it kind of like settles into your lips and your lips just feel super hydrated. They have this beautiful sheen to them and it does make my lipstick last a long time underneath. So I can see what all the hype is about these Dazzle Glass and MAC lip glasses. They are quite good. So this one is in the shade Moth to Flames and it's just like a light peach with hints of shimmer. Doesn't really show up as a color on lipstick, which is why I like this one. It just kind of helps things to kind of be a little extra shiny and last a bit longer, so I'm a fan. But that concludes this month's favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave me a comment below and let me know what your favorites have been in the month of September. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.